Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Gypsy Shiva and today I'm gonna talk about recession guys. So is recession really coming to Europe, US and the rest of the world? Yes or no? So I'm gonna answer all these questions, all the worries that you guys have about recession and what you should do in recession. Guys, first of all, the recession is one situation where aggregate supply means the supply for goods and services is more than the aggregate demand which means the demand for all the goods and services i'm talking about technically i'm speaking technically economically i had the subject of economics so i'm going to tell you about it so guys this is not the situation of recession right now because the aggregate demand is more than the aggregate supply and that's why you see inflation all over the world so right now what is happening is the demand is more than supply basically and because of that the prices are going up of each and every commodity or services around the world no matter if it is US, Europe, India, I would say Australia maybe but in all these places what is happening right now is the demand is more than supply so the reason that people are fearing recession is because this supply that is less is not because of something natural uh, artificially this there is shortage of supply why because of corona after end of the pandemic the supply chain the global supply chain didn't come back and didn't restore itself in the same position as it was before 2019 so what happened was the supply chain got disrupted because of the pandemic and still this supply chain has not been in as so tran smooth transition as it was before the pandemic. So what happens is all the things that were coming from the world that were exchanging ha hands across the countries for example basically I would say an iPhone. So the iPhone it was built in China or in US. So these iPhones have certain kinds of limitation in supply because there is a because there is a wide disruption in the market in China. So all the raw material that comes from China to manufacture different parts, different commodity, different product is has a supply constraint. And also the chips that are manufactured from Taiwan also there is shortage of certain kind because of which the global supply disruption has been made and if you talk about cars there is a long waiting period for cars in certain countries like India there are cars uh, there are uh, waiting booking period and waiting period is almost 10 10 months to one year in certain cases that means the supply is far less than the demand and this is not a sign of recession guys it's a sign of inflation the prices of everything is going up so why the world think the recession is coming yes the economies are shrinking because of the less supply there is less output in the economies and basically the economies are falling down they are shrinking by size because uh, they cannot produce the same gross domestic product that they used to do before corona so basically the, all the economies are shrinking and more in europe because europe has two three things that um, is making europe less of an invest uh, investment destination and that's why the euro is falling as a free fall kind of situation right now the gas prices are increasing because of the war going on in eastern part of Europe that is Ukraine so whatever happens in Ukraine or so Russia has a direct impact on Europe the power the gas powers all of the Europe and because they are spending so much money in gas they are spending less money in other things and the production and one more reason that Europe is aging aging slowly other reason why europe is getting trouble time is because of the brexit the one more important economy of the world that is england or united kingdom has taken aside from europe so the global integration again the the how do you say the world 
trade or the global integration of the economies again has been disrupted in Europe as well as well as in China. All these things make the supply chain disruption and because of pre-exit from Europe there is a free fall in Euro and Euro is with parity with dollar. There is nothing to worry guys, yes the economies will creep shrinking for next one year and even if the recession comes it will last for 11 months. So like in Corona in the pandemic they say the cash is the king, no the cash is not the king, you need to stay invested in certain things. Yes the markets are coming down, I know the markets are coming down but it doesn't indicate recession, it's a cyclic fluctuation that is going on because of the end of the pandemic. The pandemic was a major event across the world and major economies like uh, in uh, like European economies like US and Canada and more important economies around the world like Australia and uh, not China I would say but yeah all these economies has give printed money like anything and they have distributed money to all the people. So basically the people have money. The people have money, they have the power to demand, but the supply is limited. That's why what you are seeing is great inflation at this point of time across the world. And it's going to stay like this for one, one and a half, maybe two, two and a half years more. Till the time global supply chain is again restored or they have found alternative methods of production in their home country. Because there is a wide disruption in the market in China. so. All the raw material that comes from China to manufacture different parts, different commodity, different product is has a supply constraint and also the chips that are manufactured from Taiwan also there is shortage of certain kind because of which the global supply disruption has been made and if you talk about cars there is a long waiting period for cars in certain countries like India there are cars uh, there are uh, waiting booking period and waiting period is almost 10 10 months to one year in certain cases that means the supply is far less than the demand and this is not a sign of recession guys it's a sign of inflation the prices of everything is going up so why the world think the recession is coming yes the economies are shrinking because of the su less supply there is less output in the economies and basically the economies are falling down, they are shrinking by size because uh, they cannot produce the same gross domestic product that they used to do before Corona. So basically the, all the economies are shrinking and more in Europe because Europe has two three things that um, is making Europe less of an invest uh, investment destination and that's why the Euro is falling as a free fall kind of situation right now the gas prices are increasing because of the war going on in eastern part of europe that is ukraine ukraine after ukraine the europe starts whatever happens in ukraine or so russia has a direct impact on europe the power the gas powers all of the europe and because they are spending so much money in gas, they are spending less money in other things and the production and one more reason that Europe is aging, aging slowly. Other reason why Europe is getting trouble time is because of the pre-exit, the one more important economy of the world that is England or United Kingdom has taken aside from Europe. So the global integration again, the, the how do you say the world? trade or the global integration of the economies again has been disrupted in Europe as well as well as in China. The supply chain disruption and because of pre-exit from Europe there is a free fall in Euro and Euro is with parity with dollar. There is nothing to worry guys, yes the economies will creep shrinking for next one year and even if the recession comes it will last for 11 months. So like in corona in the pandemic they say the cash is the king no the cash is not the king you need to stay invested in certain things yes the markets are coming down i know the markets are coming down but it doesn't indicate recession it's a cyclic fluctuation that is going on because of the end of the pandemic the pandemic was a major event across the world 
and major economies like European economies like US and Canada and more important economies around the world like Australia and uh, not China I would say but yeah all these economies has give printed money like anything and they have distributed money to all the people so basically the people have money the people have money they have the power to demand but the supply is limited that's why what you are seeing is great inflation at this point of time across the world and it's going to stay like this for one one and a half maybe two two and a half years more till the time global supply chain is again restored or they have found alternative methods of production in their home country guys so basically what you need to do in recession is that you need to be you don't need to be spending money in recession everything you have more supply you need to save money and you need to spend less money in recession even if the recession comes and yes the fed feds are hiking rate in us it is to bring down the inflation because if they hike the interest rate the people is going to demand less money and if they, there is less money in the economy the demand will eventually fall and when it matches the supply the prices will come down so that's what the feds are doing there uh, in us and also uh, the feds are uh, because of the rate hike there is also a downturn in the stock market because a lot of people use that funds from the borrowings to put invest in stock market because it gives better returns than lending money so the feds are hiking rate yeah i agree but it's not because of because we are going into recession is to other play is to control the inflation that is happening in us and across the world right now so all the economies are slowly hiking rates just to control the inflation in their uh, respective economies but yes as soon as the supply is restored across all over the world these things gonna come down and you're gonna see the results and yes it might eventually end up in the recession but it won't be as bad as 2008 till the time china don't collapse if china collapse then it might come in recession the whole world might come in recession for not for 11 months maybe for three four or five years the whole world will come into recession but that's uh, just a probability other than uh, china really you know getting bad really getting a downturn it's not possible it's a huge economy it's number two economy in the world and also if there is a war with Taiwan, yes, the supply chain will be again, again disrupted. But that is all probability, and none of the big countries in the world are going to take a direct fight with other countries. And you shouldn't be worried about uh, recession. You should be prepared for recession, even if the recession is coming. You need to check your income matches your expenditure, and there are less ways to spend money and more ways to save investment is always a good in option yes if there are returns higher than 10 percent then you should go for investments other than that you should try to save money so guys the recession technically speaking is not coming is nowhere near yes the economies around the world will shrink because of the supply disruption as i talked about the supply disruption from china and other parts of the world and the world trade and uh, because of the pandemic yes it has happened but you shouldn't be worried guys the recession is not coming get in your foot again and start to work more hard only the good days are coming now after look in the past the recession comes every 10 to 15 years so after 2008 the pandemic was a major 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 disruption of economies around the world and uh, that's why i won't be thinking that the recession is coming because the recession has already passed there was more supply in the market when the pandemic come and right now there is more demand in the market when the pandemic has gone when the pandemic come there were stocks that no one has to uh, no one had the money to buy people were saving money people were disinvesting and all lot of stuff like that and in economies like India that is growing, still growing very strong, over 6% of 
GDP. The recession is nowhere near and the Indian government is doing really great job to control the inflation as well as controlling the prices of the fuel across country even though we are the biggest importers in the world of crude oil still we are trying to control the prices and the prices of petroleum in india the gas is almost the same like in us so guys that's one point that the major economy the fastest growing economy in the world india one of the biggest economies that has surpassed france and united kingdom and is the fifth largest economy after us china japan germany is the fifth largest economy in the world is india and after this united kingdom and france come so this economy is going really strong i am from india so i am giving you in-depth experience how the economy in india is going on there is a lot of production going on of different things and yes more trade is coming here it's a good investment opportunity to invest in india because of china going down ways because of the pandemic and because they couldn't restore their economy as fast as india so yeah more companies more mncs more fortune 500 companies are ready to invest and produce in india because of the same reason and yeah a lot of things will be exporting from india soon to the us like iphone 14 they are making it in india so yes and we are exporting a lot of cars from india to the world and we will be exporting more things india is become more, more self-reliant so yeah good news from india is that india is not going into recession but it will be coming more strong before the pandemic and in recession there is only one country right now in recession in all over the world is russia because of war again with ukraine so russia is yes showing signs of recession and uh, yes there is a big war playing out who is right who is not uh, who is wrong i have no one to comment because i'm not a political person that i will leave to politics but yes the war has taken effect on russia many russians have come out of russia and moved to middle east countries like uae and more countries like that in wherever they had their residences and they have tried to move out of russia to to basically run out of the economic turmoil that is happening in russia and russia getting getting isolated in world trade but yes the russian crude plays an important part in europe gas uh, demands and elsewhere in the world like india so yeah the gas and the crude will be flowing from russia but other things have certainly gone down in russia and there is a supply going up and demand going down though many mncs have tried to quit russia it's not a good decision because russia will come back strong as soon as soon as there are some end result to this war in ukraine other than that guys the uk is going strong after brexit i am pretty sure and optimistic about united kingdom or england after Brexit. though the whole of the europe is aging slowly for example the average age in portugal is almost 33 years so yeah there are things that are going sideways for europe and not really growing but in time the europe will obviously show signs of uh, revival in like five to ten years and what these countries more need more is people from outside because there are not enough people supporting the economy in uh, Europe all over the wor world for example Germany is inviting applications from outside uh, all these countries the big uh, growing like European countries Canada and Australia are Im inviting huge immigrants to support their economies and this is quite natural because these economies from Europe Canada and Australia want to grow Latin America is another part of the world and the South America that is still going strong. The Brazil is showing good results. Mexico is going very, very strong. And these com countries are growing little by little and they are becoming self-reliant and doing production at their home. So that's a very good news from Mexico till Argentina that these countries have not feel left 
are not left out in the global economy but yeah they are growing their economies are growing and slowly and steadily these economies will change uh, the shape of the world slowly i would say slowly but yeah these gonna economies the latin uh, not the latin america basically so south american countries plus mexico are gonna be something you that you need to watch out in future how they will shape the world in production if china is going down so guys don't worry about recession recession will come maybe in one year but right now for one year there is no recession there is a lot more demand than the supply all over the world but yeah you need to work out you need to spend less that's the key to inflation when the prices go down you buy when the prices up, go up you sell so that's how you make investment decisions regarding your wealth and your finances so be careful don't worry about recession keep up the hard work thanks for watching my video keep watching keep subscribing and i'm gonna bring more economics videos for us and around the world Thanks for watching.